Hello guys and this is the 11th video of the UDK Advanced Series and in this video I just want to briefly go over texture alignment mode and surface properties on a texture on a CSG, BSP, whatever you want to call it. So to start off I just want to talk a little bit about texture alignment mode. I know I haven't gone over all of these different types of modes you got here, I've just gone over foliage, terrain and standard camera. So now I'm just going to go over texture alignment mode. Uh, basically what that is, it allows you to align your texture, move it, pan it, uh, basically just so you're not limited to one direction on your texture or uh, how can I say, so you can basically rotate it or you can scale it, you can do whatever you want to it just to make it fit right with your environment. So once you've got texture alignment mode selected you want to come over to your transformation tools and you can see that you can use that on the texture so you can scale it you can rotate it that's only going to be on one axis which is just turning around because anyone that knows simple logic you know you can't rotate a texture on a plane in 3D space you can only do it on the one side of the plane that you're working with as it's a 2D object you're working with in a sense so yeah you can scale it you can rotate stuff you can even move it around that's all you really need to know about texture alignment mode there isn't much to it so let's just go ahead and go into surface properties I'm just gonna leave that uh, texture area there and I'm gonna go and shove a texture you know, yeah I'll just put a quick material onto the BSP just so you can see it works with uh, any material not just uh, default ones that come with not just default ones that are on there as soon as you make your CSG okay sorry about that my PC has decided to be annoying I guess okay let me just fix that quick sorry about that guys my PC decided it didn't want to have uh, like me today but I've just put a tech uh, material on here already so to get into uh, surface properties you need to go to uh, right click and then surface properties or you can just use the hotkey F5 and under oh sorry about that I haven't got anything se selected apparently but now you open this up you've got a whole bunch of different settings that you can play with you can see that I've got uh, panning you all know what panning is it's just moving it around so let's say I do uh, v it's going to move down, up well up and down sorry, and uh, U is just going to go left or right. So let's say I do 16, I can just move it around like that. Uh, then over here we've got rotation. We can rotate it by like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, or you can add in a custom one if you want. So I can do it something like hmm, 52, and it's been rotated by 52, and then you can always just flip. Uh, you can always flip those to play around with it however you want but so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down to uh, God. okay there we go 52 that's fine it's gone back to normal but all the rotation and panning up there you won't really need to go into too much detail with that you can just do it all in uh, texture alignment mode you're gonna find it so much easier over here we've got scaling which is also in texture alignment so let's say I change it to 0 0.0625 it's going to be incredibly small and scale it's going to be uh, incredibly uh, yeah there we go now it's really small just because of the amount that I've gone and scaled it by so the default scale for a texture is going to be 1 so if I go ahead and put that back to 1 you're going to see the default uh, texture size and that's been uh, how can I say tiled just because it's not big enough to fit the whole shape so let's say I change this to something like 2 it's going to be more closer to fitting the whole shape I'm not too sure about the exact size of uh, the texture itself to make it fit on there it all varies on the texture resolution really so let's say I do 5 that's going to be rather big it's got some nice patterns on there but when I zoom in you can see that stretch and you don't really want to zoom in too much or stretch it because when you look at the texture it's not too att attractive you won't really need to worry about lighting too much all you need to wor uh, worry about is 
to do two different types of lights. Dynamic ones are going to be ones that move, and then standard ones are going to be stuff like this point light that I've got here just to light up the area. And then alignment, we've got default, fit, box, and planar. You won't really need to worry about planar too much for now, but the ones that you are going to want to worry about is fit and default and box. Okay, so we've got our fit one. Basically what this is going to do, it's going to stretch the texture just so it fits the whole of the face. So you don't have to worry about knowing the exact size for uh, the scaling over here. So let's just go to say I go over to fit and then press apply. You can see the whole texture is on the shape. It looks stretched and it doesn't look too attractive. So I wouldn't advise doing that. I would maybe just work on the texture itself to make it fit the whole uh, thing. And there's box. What this does is it's going to basically make it all squares and it's going to replicate itself to make it fit. And I can change the UV tile on here so I can just scale the each of the textures to two. It's going to make the each of these uh, half the size it normally is. And then default is just going to be one by one on the UV tiling. And that's what it's going to be set to automatically whenever you put on a material onto an object, like so. And then if I just go ahead and press uh, F5. Okay, never mind. Wrong, wrong phase. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, just go drag this one on over here. And you, if I go ahead and press F5, and you can see that it is one by one just by default. So I wouldn't advise changing any of those around just because that's the default settings. You may want to go back to those. So just work with box and fit for now. Uh, under here we've got our lighting channels and light mass settings. You won't really need to worry about those. But for now you should know how texture alignment mode works and surface properties. You really don't need to know every single one of these different types of settings in here because some of them you can do you can just do in world properties texture alignment mode so surface properties isn't really something that you want to go into too much detail on so that's about it for this tutorial thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye